So, in this video, first of all, I'm going to address the obvious. If you aren't new here, then you would realize that my walls aren't blue anymore. So, that happened really, really fast. I will be doing an entire video based around my room transformation kind of thing, but basically I'm redoing my entire room and I started with the wall color. It's dramatically different and I love it. So that kind of clears up the obvious for any of you who are kind of wondering, Danny, where are you? What did you do with your walls? <laughs> so getting into the point of this video, this video is going to be a summer inspiration video that includes DIY treats, some activities, some DIY room decor, all that fun stuff. It's going to be one huge compilation of summery things and I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if that wasn't exciting enough, this video is also a collab with one of my really, really amazing friends here on YouTube and her name is Emma. Emma's channel used to be named The Beauty Guru For You and then she recently changed it to Emma Catherine, but M, just so you know, you will always be The Beauty Guru For Me in my heart because I watched Emma way before I even started my channel. So that's pretty cool that now I'm collabing with her. That's pretty weird, actually. Like, who would have ever thought? Not me. Oh my god. <laughs> Emma is also doing a summer inspiration video, but with different kind of aspects to it. I know for sure that she's doing a DIY flower crown that looks incredible. So if you're new here from Emma's channel, hi, my name is Danny, and I would really love it if you guys would stick around. And if you do decide to watch the whole video and eventually subscribe, that would mean the world to me. And I would love to know why you guys subscribe because I get all these subscribers sometimes and I wonder what made them want to subscribe to me. So whether you've been watching my videos for two years since I first started or because Emma sent me this time, I would love for you to comment down below what made you subscribe, whether it's my personality or my filming or my song choice, I don't know. It really could be anything and I really am interested in that. I've always wanted to ask you guys that question. So make sure to comment that down below, it would make me really Really, really happy and without any more rambling I hope you guys enjoyed the video let's get to it this time this is my fight song take back my Activity that I think is perfect to do if you're a little bit bored over summer and want to kill some time is to tie-dye some old clothing. So I first started off by following the instructions on the back of my tie-dye box and this consisted of shaking up my solution really really well, setting up a nice workspace, and then going at it. So I decided to tie-dye a plain white shirt and a white baseball cap and the shirt I decided to do a spiral design and it came out a lot better than I expected it to. And the hat started off a bit rocky but it turned out looking really really cool. It killed a lot of time and I had a lot of fun. Another super fun activity to do when you're bored over the summer would be to organize and decorate a planner. This is something I love doing not only during the school year but also during the summertime just so I can make it super bright and colorful and keep myself organized. And if you feel like you've tried every single activity and you are still bored, I recommend making this board cup. So basically, it's a mason jar or a cup of your choice filled with a bunch of colorful post-it notes that have activities written on them. And making the cup itself wastes some time and cures your boredom. And then every single day during the summer that you find that you are a little bit bored, you pick out an activity from the cup and then you do it and then your boredom is cured. <laughs> I'm so bored. first treat I'm going to be showing you guys how to make are these gummy bear sprite ice pops which are super cute and really self-explanatory really so these are all the things that you're going to need to make this treat and let's just get started so you're going to want to start by popping open a can of sprite and filling up a cup entirely with gummy bears you want to do this so the gummy bears don't congregate near the bottom of the cup and they are entirely dispersed throughout the entire ice pop then you're going to need to somehow stand up a stick unless you have 
ice pop molds, which of course I didn't. This step is a lot easier if you use plastic wrap, and after they are entirely frozen and you pop them out, they are incredibly delicious, ready to eat, and perfect for pictures. <laughs> next treat I'm going to be showing you guys how to make are these frozen lemonade filled lemon cups and these are so delicious and really really easy so the first thing you're gonna want to do are to get out some lemons I did this by first squeezing out all of the juice and then taking a knife and cutting out the rest of it then you can take your lemon juice and pour that into a blender and you can also use artificial lemon juice if you want to make more of this or you just like the way that tastes a little better then you can pour in some pink lemonade this is optional but I liked it because it added a bit of color and it also added a better taste. Then I put in about eight ice cubes and then put in one cup of water. And after you've done this, you can blend it up until all of the ice is gone. There's no chunks of it and there's just little itty bitty pieces and it's more of a slushy consistency. After you've blended up to your liking, then you can pour in your slushy into your lemon cup, put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, pop it out, and then you have a really refreshing, really delicious summer treat. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up because I worked really, really hard on it and hopefully you can tell. And make sure to check out all my social media sites. They're always linked down below as well as my vlog channel. And I actually vlogged this day in particular that I'm filming this kind of intro outro sort of thing so if you want to see a behind the scenes of this day then make sure to check that out because a lot of people seem to like it and i'm sure you will too if you're not already subscribed and if you are you rock <laughs> and that's basically it make sure you check out emma's video because it's linked down below and at the end of this one and yeah i just know you guys are gonna love it and if you came from her Hello again, how are you? Alright, you're probably like, when is this girl gonna shut up? So, now this girl is gonna shut up. I'll talk to you guys next week, and I love you very much. Bye! <laughs>